Yeah, but you know, the police officer told me, he said to me, at least try to video record the two packages if they're going to be here. And they are here. There are two packages here. They still are. Because he told me under MK Ultra a package where the poisonous milk will be, will be gone. That's what he stated to me. So the package is still here. This is the package. Um, I have to tell you something here that I noticed. I'm going to give the whole history about the milk, what exactly happened with the milk for you to understand the issue of the milk. For one thing I will say to you, for one thing I will say to you, um, when I opened a fresh milk, a new bottle, I did not feel sick. And I know it's a milk poisoning because every time, whenever father does something, it was always done through a psychiatrist. So he would use a psychiatrist to do the stuff or a psychiatrist would use him to do the stuff. Um, this milk is brought in the house, I think even by the neighbors, but I'm not sure. Uh, not that they would sip something poisonous in it, not that this would be poisonous milk, these people would deliver. The poison is sipped inside, I think, in my opinion at least. However, I have to say that the police officer told me, based on observation of my habits, uh, that they will do this, but he wouldn't say what. But he told me, if you're going to finish the milk, and then you're going to add the water, because this is a 3.5%, and you're going to rinse this, whatever is left from milk inside, we will do that, he said. We will have to do that. So that what exactly that means is that always I was the one who rinsed the milk. Always I did this shit. And I think at home that something was spilled in it. Um, or maybe even through the production of it. I have no idea, but I know that when I did this and when I shake, and I always boil the milk. I boiled one extra. So this is a new, this is another, this is just the one that we open now. Okay, that's just a furnace. Um, so that's a different one from the one before. Oh. Basically, is the same, the same company, isn't it? So I want to go very, very thoroughly through this issue of milk poisoning. Very thoroughly, I want to describe one. There's just a lot of data I have to give you to explain the whole thing. Uh, this is just a tiny little information I gave you right now, right? So. We have a situation in which there are possibly two suspects. One is mom, and then there is that second party in respect to milk. And this, is, this was about milk. Make no mistake about this. Uh, I didn't even know uh, the whole picture about what the hell went on till now, now I know what this was all about. Now, that's basically four years later, uh, four years of uh, MKUltra rehearsal. Now, I got it. Um, when it comes to poisoning, when it comes to sensitive matters, 
matters sensitive to law enforcement to justice system a police slovenian police always made sure there will be multiple parties involved in it my father did destroy it anywhere from clothing shoes cables headphones he ruined a lot of property along the way he did he sure did but make no mistake about it there were other people that were visit during family's absence in this house uh, if I did go with mom dad uh, to the store I would get unsuspected visits from returned from Poland never mind what went on earlier because that was something completely different uh, was promised in details on how to see the property will be vandalized destroyed at one opportunity I met an individual who was here just as an example I give you uh, an individual who was here at Teška Gora uh, not too far from church uh, St. Mary's Nativity Church uh, we met and um, he did some drug dealing this guy and uh, would use me along the way my presence under MK Ultra to avoid possible uh, police um, inspections did so did I'm not gonna say where he took um, he's got the whole audio about it and stuff okay he did took also some across the border to Croatia and so on Piran uh, the thing is that we spoke an evening I did have uh, like a um, like a work gloves with me that are just uh, plated with um, rubber so that you get the better grip that's because of the exercise I do and I know for a fact that I'd lose one on the spot where we sat uh, as I wanted to go I couldn't find one I I left home uh, search over my backpack no uh, but it was exactly what he promised he's, he's gonna do you know the same day I did go to the store with my parents returned back from the store and the glove was at the center of the table inside of my room uh, yeah we do have uh, visitors we definitely do police allows this kind of stuff this is the stuff that is surveillance this is the stuff that is it's basically is done through the police we this is this is the way things are so pointing finger at one person uh, doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense for me to point finger at my father or at my uh, or at my mother for a multitude of reasons as the main reason mother alone reprimanded me on numerous occasions they'll come uh, pick me up even not only I'm gonna go to the home for elderly or uh, with the, with the father we're gonna go and what are you gonna do financially uh, unsustainable you're not going to be able to secure yourself pay for your bills and stuff that's basically one of the reasons is the second reason is they did manipulate on that board of power milan coach and they heavily uh did go after that they they threatened if you're going to talk about us what we what's going to be um then there is that second reason that's much more obscure and uh, that's why my case is a little 
outstanding because I can point that out because most of the people probably would be capable to look the governments made deal with Slovenian government for this thing to take place to actually go through no matter what they compensated Slovenian and Polish governments for this and Czech uh, but one of the things a guarantees they gave to Milan Kuchin and to Borat Pahor was that they won't be touched I'm pretty sure they did it was actually they bragged me about that stuff Milan Kuchin and Borat Pahor bragged me about that stuff that they reached the deal and through this deal nobody's gonna touch them they reached the deal with the British with the Germans with Americans and maybe with some other party too uh, but these are the people I already have spoken about now what is fascinating about this milk poisoning now listen to this here Um, more than jock shock radiation this was a jock shock inside of the milk uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate you this is the post I am I already had posted uh, this is a factual stuff uh, it couldn't be more factual than what it is but I was told please do 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 record this video if you can if you can do this properly uh, and so this is why we're here at today because this is a really good one okay so just want to explain what closely detail relates on my new side to this stuff I mentioned a multitude of foreign governments there was this British guy <clears throat> I I gestured that they tested this stuff on others what exactly this stuff this stuff what exactly am I referring to folks this is what it took me four years for me to finally understand now what happened no, when they do something to you under MK Ultra, it's a lot of scenarios that you recall. It's a lot of scenarios that they don't even repeat. Um, and it's a lot of scenarios that you don't recall till they happen. Um, till you have whatever ability to exchange conversation with someone or whatever but in this case here the British told me that they're gonna help me um, I, I Americans that they are not gonna be beat they're not gonna beat me up um, listen I'm not saying that the guys that were involved in MK Ultra that did go out with idea to beat me up but I'm gonna say that your government did your governments did and the worst about these beatings you know what the worst part is about this is they left me behind for dead in the ditch they basically as Milan Kuchan told me in my face buried me alive twice you have no idea when I got psychiatrists in my face tell me that I am 100% dead and so on and so forth <laughs> um, but this British guy was an interesting fellow and we talk about the psychology here um, what he did was 
just like others did, but he did a little different. He had to find where the poison was. The poison procedure, as I already have explained earlier, was translated, conveyed to my mom as a something that would give me a base for, according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, for self-reliance on ability to prepare for myself food, to take care of myself, basically. Uh, it's something that I understand uh, Mama did her EPP. EPP, this is Economsko Propagandni, uh, yeah, whatever, material, um, messages, uh, whatever. Um, she told me, I don't want to do it, but it's, this shit is always, you hear always the same shit, a million times I heard this. At first I didn't want to do it, but then I realized this, and for the cost of that I would even have to live and disappear from life, uh, uh, pretend I'm dead, uh, therefore after life, whatever, uh, I agree with the Peter Kapsch to do it. That's it, uh, regardless of how it's going to be. Uh, and then it was forward, forward, forward under MK Ultra. Um, I did this and na 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 na. Now it's time for us to see what you're gonna do for us and that, 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 that. Uh, nonsense and nuisance. But there is some truth in it. Um, that's not the truth, though. I uh, that's so not the truth that I I don't even consider one as the truth. I could say 10%, 20%, 30% true, no. I'm not considered something that does not pertain to the truth of any kind. Uh, let me explain about this stuff, how this works with me. Peter Kapsch. in the last stage of the SMK Ultra, he had a list with him, like a list, like not that thick, no, it was not that thick, but it was like A4, sure, and it was something like, like, like this, for sure it was, something like this. And the only thing he would do is he would open that thing uh, this is exactly the way the fuck it was. And uh, he would just go, and he would have one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 issues, issues, you understand? And for every issue, he would have the answers, yes, no. And he would have Sid, me, my mother, and I don't know, maybe he had somebody else, I don't care. It, it, it's, it's irrelevant right now. Then he would ask my mother a question. Can you do this? Uh, oh, father, whatever, too. Uh, therefore, my family here. Um, then he would ask my, mo uh, my father, can you do this? And then based on the answer, they would give yes, mostly. He would also turn to me for attention and he would explain the issue that would be involved inside of MK Ultra. I remember all that stuff, how the fuck that went. Just that I was sleep deprived like shit. Whenever they, they wanted the yes from me, that's, they would make you walk a few days without the sleep. That's how the hell that shit went. But it, it really doesn't matter because MK Ultra is as criminal as possibly could be. You can do stuff like this. You can hold somebody liable. Uh, you can you cannot do this stuff like this. <laughs> it doesn't get any worse than that. Uh, and the stuff involved cancer, poison will poison. Uh, what what we said about the peanut uh, walnut? You don't eat. No, you don't eat. Uh, what we said about, what is it, mold, mold, 
uh, what what we look for in this uh, whatever malt, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. All about food, food here, food there, food blah 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 blah. blah. But you know, fuck this. Excuse me, 25 years on the row before this. It was about the radiation. It was about <laughs> um, about detergent, personal detergent. Um, it was about the chemicals they're gonna be released inside of my oh, oh. Listen, too many crazy, insane theories to count with the solutions they pointed out from this what I refer to as a bullshit encyclopedia. This is a, this was a thick book of bullshit they used, and they used one extremely, extremely proficiently, especially that one with, as they refer to as a weapon, as a test weapon for uh, British Special Forces. Now, that was brutal. That was a brutal, brutal, brutal one. Uh, muscle pain, uh, twitching, I have explained about the oculus area, about the other kind of stuff, muscle spasms causing. Uh, this stuff is sodium bicarbonate uh, poisoning, basically. That's the kind of stuff exactly we are talking about here. Yeah? So, that's the kind of stuff. So now, what did we said about, let's say, about, just as I have a picture here, that's perfect, okay, with me here. Uh, what did we said about, let's say, cocoa here, or you see here a coffee on the left hand. Uh, what did we say, the pulver, we don't use this what instead chocolate bar why because you cannot dissolve poison inside you know this kind of stuff what is good for your blood for your blood is good uh, tea like this a cinnamon and uh, you know that kind of stuff that's basically what we are talking about here uh, except that political part then again and all that stuff shit 96 truly did perform surgery on me in Belgrade, not surgery, but it is something surgically to damage the lymph node here. Uh, definitely did. Um, and when somebody like Prince Harry tells you, uh, what do you like to drink? You like to drink what? Tea? No. Oh, you like coffee. You're like a Philip, man. And what else do you like? A milk? Milk? You're not gonna be able to drink milk. And then you have a whole bunch of others giving echo to this kind of nonsense, nuisance. No chips, no sweet, you're not gonna be allowed this, you're not gonna be allowed that. Bill Gates is a very serious man. If you would tell Bill Gates something like this, you would probably end up, I assume, with something like this. Okay, Taylor Swift. Swift. Now, that I give you right. Uh, I, I'm not, I wouldn't go and do this. Uh, like that, I wouldn't do it. I know, I wouldn't do it, but there are people there are. And when it comes to seriousness, taking life seriously, you can only take uh, not this much seriously life, yeah, but I'm not a person who would go and take drugs, uh, you know, or smoke, or for that matter, I'm going to say, I did not even drink coffee until age 37, you understand? I did not even fucking taste one. Then because of all this bullshit, when I started to write and all this stuff, then I started to consume coffee. 
no alcohol, obstinate, and, and so on and so forth. It matters not. But with the people like myself, is what I'm trying to tell you, you don't fuck around. Now, with the people like Bill Gates, I'm not talking about Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a dope. Jeff Bezos, that's more serious. But this is not the material, the same kind of material. This is not the same thing. You don't fuck with the stuff like this. And uh, the only logical, based on facts, conclusion I came up with to give you the country of which citizen I became for United States of America, citizenship I have next to Slovenian citizenship, I'll give you, I'll, I'll ease in you as circumstances for your crime against me based on heavy discrimination, let's say. Okay, let's just say discrimination, inequality, let's say, hatred toward me, let's say, I don't know, as I was told, Slovene, dirty, filthy, Slovene, Slovene from dictionary in 95. Um, let's just say toward me as an Eastern European maybe or something like this, because otherwise, I don't know what the fuck you were trying to do uh, with this case. What the hell were you trying to prove? I heard the other conspiracy theories from FBI and Central Intelligence agents involved in it that they're going to try to even apologize. Uh, Lee Harvey. Well, I told them, good luck with that. Guys, because I'm not on board, I'm not a terrorist, uh, I'm not any kind of rebellion, rebel, I'm not any kind of uh, dissident. I'm a law-abiding citizen that just expects to be, uh, fuck that, as far as respect, just treated accordingly with the laws, with the Constitution, with the U.S. Constitution, that's all there is to it. And uh, what can I tell you, when you rape all that uh, with a, such an intensity for a guy to lose 28 years of life, I, the easiest, the, the best solution that I can come up with, and it's really not about disparity, it's discrimination. What the fuck is the difference between me and Musk and me and Bezos and this and that? Based on seniority, this guy is a pigeons. Now, the pigeons compared to Bezos and Musk became a billionaires. In meanwhile, they gained statuses and so on, and I gained uh, a really, 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 really ear to hug, basically. This is, let's just call it mildly my case, the case of discrimination, inequality, case based on inequality, all through it. This is a, going far beyond the Russian sleep experiment. It's a fucking genocide multiplied by the hundred. But still, if you would match, if you would compare this stuff, let's just say disparity, discrimination so what I want to say to you is walnut uh, milk this where's the poison the poison here the poison there this British guy who was supposedly evaluated that's why I don't believe this. That's why I believe even less. Because these guys were evaluated very shortly. This was like very shortly. This guy was, one guy was evaluated. Like he found the poison like within like, you know, fucking smart, man. I'm not like myself. Uh, within one month, that was like the fastest one according to Trump. Then there was another one, two months, and maybe even three months. Those the craziest ones. Uh, and then the crazy motherfucker like myself, subjected to torture 28 years, that needed four years to understand what the fuck this was all about. 
Maybe because they chopped my clothing, maybe because they did all this shit next to it, next to this spine breaking and cancer game. Uh, maybe because I was angry, frustrated, as even solutions offered. Uh, a fact because I didn't get anything on a plate. It made things only much, much more difficult for me than it was if somebody ever really was tested in this case. Because I mean, it's a fucking lie twisted out of wine completely. That's got Donald Trump written all over. That's the biggest scammer scum the world have ever seen. Um, let me explain. I mean, I don't even know what to explain. I mean, what, 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 how can you compare four years to one month, two months, three months? But let's, 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 leave, let's just leave that stuff out. The British guy did something very different. This is, I, as I said, this is a little bit about psychology. He did this in a such a way so that he would compliment me. In other words, he would always do something. He was always do something. He was always do something. Uh, he would add water inside, and he would do that kind of stuff. And then he would just like myself, he would pour that in a, uh, in a pan, and then he would boil that, and he would get uh, basically removing this bacteria, removing this uh, life out of milk too much not good for lymph nodes and so on so they would be cancer free this and that but he always had this sound like myself driving him insane 24 7. and was asking me what the fuck should i do and he kept doing stuff like this and i told him you know maybe this shit is because uh, because you 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 have a word maybe this is glued on this thing or something like this if it's if it's like this that you feel so bad and uh, we go as he said let's try this and then it was like everybody yeah yeah you're right you're right sebastian got him sebastian got it sebastian didn't get shit these people just imitated my habits whatever they have observed seen basically from my daily life and it's more than my mama there's a fucking cameras in here and I am not a paranoid. Observing my daily life, my how I go about, what I do, what I eat, what I drink. And then based on all that they made a conclusion on I suppose how to rehabilitate me. I am thinking about Harry right now, and I'm thinking about William right now, and I'm thinking about Romano right now in, in Rome, and I'm thinking about right now about myself asking Harry, because Romano have extra pounds, he had, he was quite bulky, and I was quite bulky, and I like him for being bulky with his extra kilos, you know, like what we guys care about. And I said to him, man, why is it, to Harry, why the hell is it that he got a beautiful woman, right? They gave him an Italian woman that I wanted, actually. He got one. And, uh, you know, loaded him with the money and shit. And now that, I mean, I like the couple, I do. Uh, I did, I mean, I don't think good about this, people. I think that this is mafia, really. I think this is gonna deprive Russia from the face. I think that Russia is gonna lose the face, a human face. And um, along with it, the rest of the world, everything that Vladimir Lenin gave, 
basically they're gonna toast you know his legacy a face he gave a human face he returned on the faces of the people of the human beings they're gonna rather place themselves a fucking masks on it those iron masks they're gonna turn themselves into a uh, slaves that's right I said why why me why not me and I said no no not you this and that so with Ulsa on the lane claiming me ah uh, it's gonna be people with a cancer in Germany what we do is we send them home right and we tell them go to the internet go to the computer learn what is good what's bad for the cancer and bye bye and then cook yourself like that and have this kind of lifestyle if you don't you're dead too much coffee too much this too much shit you're dead sorry Sebastian okay so what was this case all about I think I have explained what exactly this case was all about this guy obviously would not want to take credit for himself he wanted me to remember where is gonna be the worst part of this because this this was the worst this was worse than whatever they have used the other issues this this, this shit this was the worst uh maybe they 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 really explained me brainwashed me on 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 issues like a powdered cocoa um a powdered coffee they did they really did they they brainwashed me in and out but the thing about folks see what the problem is the problem is that it doesn't come to you it doesn't come to you and then you know what the biggest problem about this stuff is the biggest problem about this stuff is that people that don't want you to remember the stuff they tell you they develop their own fucking world next to this conspiracy theories they give you another hundred reasons why you should not think the way they told you to think to bail yourself out you understand I did not go and video record the USB plug that goes inside of the lighter inside of the Volkswagen Polo because the Russian told me yeah it was changed into a smaller size so the regular uh, plug-in like universal one for the cars it would not fit in that's the mechanic that also play with the brakes on the car and because of what result I smashed it when rearing the car into another vehicle that's how important that shit is so they give you another million reasons why not to think logically so you are next to all this bullshit you are drowning in if you can manage to come to this kind of conclusion like I did then what they do then they give you this and they give you this what is this these are cookies and what is this here this is called Shipek Shipek, my friends, is in Slovenian language. In English, if translated, this is hibiscus tea. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. The thing about it is that you are so fucked up that you, to tell you the truth, you wouldn't even want to try any kind of food that says hibiscus on it. You are just not a tea, not a shit, not nothing. You're just uh, annoying for the main part until you see this written in Slovenian language and it says sheep then you buy it then you realize shit is the same like a hibiscus okay it's like you buy a camera 
a camera fell down on the floor and then for the first time you bought the smartphone and then you realize there is a fucking camera on a smartphone and that's me i know i'm i'm saying i'm not particularly smart but this isn't about smart it's being about fucking traumatized trauma trauma traumatized buy buy this get this why no, you're gonna go and you're gonna record this. I don't want, I don't want this shit. I don't want the conspiracy theories. You don't understand, I don't want. I want normal life, I want life, job. My business, whatever the fuck, leave me alone. But they don't, sorry. From buried alive, they bury you only deeper and deeper and deeper. That's the name of the game. This is what this shit is all about. Now let me explain the story behind the shipek, hibiscus, therefore, and the cookies. Now, I realized because of this here on my own, I finally did. It came to me. It was really not as it might appear to you here. That it was because of the police officer? No, it was not the police officer. I was the one who learned through a bullshit, through literally learning how to survive a poisoning, uh, that whenever a coffee came to the end, or whenever cocoa came to the end, yeah, it was a very, very strange reaction my body got. I like really really impossible I felt you felt like it's gonna blow your brain out and uh, this kind of stuff here this kind of stuff related uh, spasms uh, all this stuff uh, but brain brain that you could get stroke at any time because of the blood pressure stuff that this shit does I think that's what it is because it's a sound it sounds like crazy 24 7 it's unbearable you go on with the three hours of day sleep you folks you don't even understand what kind of hell the hell this shit is i realized therefore that is the same thing that applies to this shit and so you know what i did i stopped i once it came toward the end of it i wouldn't drink no more of this shit i wouldn't go anymore and splash this uh, mix with the water, splash, and pour this into uh, a, a mug and, and uh, boil this thing, and then drink this. I wouldn't do it anymore because I learned there's something inside in there. Uh, uh, so that's when what exactly what they do? That's when the Donald Trump went off on a local police officer here. It's not a secret. This man is about one house away from me. He built his entire career in this MK Ultra case. And according to Donald Trump, he did something that could cost him, I don't know, if not even fucking life. Donald Trump wanted to fucking, I don't know, strangle him or something like that. They learned everything. He, they learned about him. That he told me that to look for the element, um, I like it, and this too, it's a good combination to eat, and so that they did this stuff because they knew that I like it, and they, this is going to remind me, and it's going to go straight to the element that is used to cause spasms, cramps sound to drive insane poisoner for if it's loaded extra into consumable products and so you know what exactly happened Donald Trump once he learned about you see this was some special you can see the price 150 oh. yeah there you go that's one here next to it. here this is one uh, and this here was two oh two. oh there you go 199 there you go so once he learned about this guy telling me about that he wanted to just 
Donald Trump wanted to see me fucking dead. Ivanka Trump, you have to see this shit of a human being. She was fucking absorbed with the torture. Said this is not a normal human being. It was all about how I'm going to eat from the rusty pants in Poland and stuff like this. Boy, boy, what a hatred. These are mental patients more than anything else. Constant with a hatred. These people are eaten with the evil. They just leave for the evil. This is a plain fucking evil. This is a this is a real doctor evil. So that's the story about this police officer, uh, which did not really make difference in my case. Is the only difference that he made in my case was when they did with this store, this local store, was that I was capable to pull this out about which element is being used to to cause this kind of stuff. But this element is present everywhere, which I also knew that it's got to be consumable element, element that is used almost universally, and it can only be da be dangerous if it's added, if it's overly added. Okay, so once you know what the fuck, where is it, then they give you a tea, then they give you a hibiscus, then they give you a cookies. Nothing. It's actually ten times worse situation than if you would go about and learn where the poison is. So don't you worry, Donnie, you got more for your buck than what you possibly could dream of. And this here, this stuff here, this is just an excuse from Donald Trump. That a reminder that, you know, just an attempt, attempt to confuse is that I got something free or something in that sense, how that I came to solution. Okay, it's the type of people we are talking about, so it's hard for me to blame my mama for it. You understand now the nature of this crime, how, who, where, this and that. But all this shit, the way I rate this stuff, I know I take this from a, from a multitude levels, from a different corners. And the number one reason why all this shit went on, if you ask me, from my perspective, I already have explained well in English language, it pertains to this video here, even better so in Slovenian language. Let me demonstrate to you this one here. And then this would be this thing here. Um, in English, in Slovenian language, the Kaibos Tamilan Kuchen Borat Pahrat Potvarov a Hag, Tribunal za Vojne Zlučine za Lisica in the Rokah. Well, basically, this is about why a Milan Kuchen and Borat Pahor will travel to the card war tribunal to face war crimes charges. This is why all this shit is being used. This shit is being used to buy time to the people like this so they can have some other plan, a big plan going. Now, this is the video you want to see it. Milan Kuchan and Borat Pahar have smuggled me once I was brought uh, from United States of America to Slovenia, they would load me and get me to Serbia. Illegally, it's called the human trafficking. Uh, from Serbia, they would get me literally into the trenches uh, and the front lines where Bosnian Serbs, Serbs exchanged fire with Croats and Bosniaks and have used me 
for inciting in extreme hatred Serbian uh, soldiers so those would take more aggressive approach toward Croats and Bosnians on the other uh, line uh, when exchanging fire with them uh, let me explain they tortured me and because I had this kind of resilient spirit and I fought back in those ditches and insulted them and did all kinds of stuff um, that's exactly what they wanted for them to see in Croats and in Bosniaks myself, me so this was the zest energy they used for the war crimes for the massacres all over Croatia and all over Bosnia after 1995 this is why uh, one of the people I came to Serbia as first with this also stuff that started in 96 straight to Serbia this was Donald Trump Donald Trump was in bed. Uh, Melania Trump's father is a Udba individual. And from Ivanka Trump, uh, uh, husband, uh, actually, are we talking about the husband? No, not really. Father, the same thing, KGB. So now you have it, now you understand why this poisoning, why this destruction of the property and all that stuff why the hell that went on uh, race against time I think I did exceptionally good job but it's the rest of that it doesn't finally doesn't depend on me and it's the rest of it that uh, it's up to you guys what how you gonna do uh, how you view what exactly is that you you are you you pursue uh in okay as normal okay i just i just put it this way as normal um normal is more is is more powerful than a u.s bill of rights or a u.s constitution as you see you you can't really count on any of that but you can perhaps Perhaps you can on a normal people that can relate to this situation understanding that when it's stuff like this happens to one person uh, it's most likely will happen to many many others uh, and so the silence I just say uh, eight um, I don't know how they say, but a, a, a villain or whatever, if you would translate that, um, a secret eight bigger and bigger, bigger villain, if you want. This, this villain, this villain can become even a nation or nations or human race and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching this video. Um, there is another video I was going to play you, but I'm not sure. I just wanted to mention maybe as an interesting. Uh, my father, my father, he, um, this psychiatrist, Peter Kopf, this, this guy was everywhere. This guy caused such a great deal of problems. The psychiatrist, Peter Kopf, yeah, because this is related this this in a, in, a, in a certain way this is related here it's about the watch that my father uh, is all of a sudden interested in uh, in the same evening in, early in the morning at one o'clock he comes out of his room uh, all dressed up ready to go go where I don't know uh, throws the watch to me on a table. I look at the watch. I see the watch really is eight like he claims Then he goes back and sleep 
Uh, but not before he wakes the mother for bullshit. Mother gives him a yell. He goes and he goes sleep. Uh, wakes up, gets up, and uh, I come in the kitchen and I see him with a lot of catalogs right there. And I just try to borrow one of the catalogs because it's a Black Friday period, let's say. Uh, days of Black Friday. And so you have the merchandise greatly reduced, uh, cheaper, affordable in my case. And the father doesn't let this go. He just insists on the watch that costs 200 and uh, 16 euros. Uh, that's like well over, I don't know, $250. And this is the watch he does not even know how to operate. It's, it's a smart watch. Uh, my father is over 90. He does not have a smartphone or anything like this. And uh, previously, he did destroy it. He broke smashed a watch like this this is like a 50 bucks watch uh, and father just just downloaded one just for the heck of a uh, it will glow in the dark it's 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 exact it's a it's a thin nice watch uh, but father just downloaded this then a very similar to this this is not this is again the same company I mentioned was a Casio watch he got he's not happy with that one either uh, the time when I check on his watch this time uh, does show however the proper time at 1 o'clock p.m. therefore he was lying to me at, to me and to my mom whom he lifted from bed at 1 o'clock in the morning that his watch is no good so he is working according to the plan the plan built by no one other than psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who played with his watches. Under MK Ultra, I took my father also to this Coolandia to look for watches. And the best of all, uh, he drove my father insane to the point that, oh yeah, that's not good. Okay, so... This watch demoluted. The watch you still have, this is the one I have spoken about. Um, took my father to a shopping mall to look for watches. He was just driving him insane all the time. Uh, but he would pull like really insane stuff during which my father would end up throwing money away big time he would give like for the armrest inside of the Volkswagen Polo I don't know I think it was like I either was a 500 or was it 2000 euros extra and, you know that that kind of stuff you know stuff like this and and all other kind of stuff are very expensive that he can afford, afford, buy, go, throw the fuck the money away, and so on. Um, here is the watch, the same thing. So, you know, my father was a talent for bad stuff. And when the psychiatrist like this gets in and start doing this stuff like this, then things go from bad to the worst. It's like... Daniel Rex made the American psychologist say to me, he said, your father acts impulsively against you. This is not, this is not, uh, you know, based on, on like rationale, like thinking to go and you're going to do somebody, whatever. Because I'm not even doing this. I can't really relate that I would go and have somebody. Um, he said, that's how you have to think. You just have to let go because... You know, you're not going to change. You're not. You're not going to change the person like this. It's impossible to change him like this. Okay. No, it's actually bad. My father knows what the fuck he's doing. My father knows very well what the fuck he's doing. Uh, I told you this is the hundred cameras inside of this house. I'm not paranoid. 
And trust me, the moment, the fucking moment I would go and just do one of his whatever, something that he destroyed me headphones for like 150 bucks at least. Headphones. They're just headphones. Believe me, the next day, no, not the next, the same fucking day, I would go in a police like this handcuff. He knows what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> this is not... This is not that he would not know, this is not. But yeah, it's a good idea. And the uh, fact of the matter is that uh, psychiatrists, they cannot act like this on their own. For them to act like this, the only way they can is with allowance from the police department. So therefore what we, we have here is well, basically a crime spree financed, produced, supported by the police. I don't give a fuck on behalf of whom. Because this is not law, law state, uh, legal state. This is something else. This is uh, not a banana republic. I have no idea what is this shit. It's it's about probably the best description I have given a little earlier. When uh, you know, a Buckingham Palace insisted that Slovenian people sold me. Now that all the money that I was due, in fact, is going to be given instead to build again Yugoslavia, that kind of stuff. Uh, but that they would let me go. This is, this is completely insane shit. That kind of stuff we are talking about here. Okay, uh, I can't go after my parents like this. It doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Uh, I am definitely a hostage of Milan Kuchan of Borut Power. I'm a hostage for no less than 28 years. I know who is doing this shit and I know why exactly they're doing this stuff. They're doing, they have done such a horrendous crimes, forced this poor Slovenian nation to commit themselves to crimes against own Slovenian. Claiming me in the face that they would never go to Yugoslavia, but because I am Slovenian, and have seen what the stuff I have done, how evil I am, they no longer want to be independent, that kind of bullshit, that kind of brainwash violence stuff. Psychiatry, yeah, psychiatry, here's the name. Thanks for watching this video, and um, today is already November the 21st, 2021. Till next time.
book of Epicurus, Epi, to my family. Uh, this is just being used, I was told, uh, to raise uh, a critique from the public as psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, referred to as. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch uh, had an idea to voice public opinion against me uh, because he engaged in some kind of public uh, opinion polls from a variety of uh, from with from people with different backgrounds tested them and some of the people I understand would even go and support uh, views of my father in this case to just act like a wow like uh, no you you can't see the fucking paper I'm reading the paper and whatever is uh, under this paper don't bother and this and that yeah but it was a black friday and this this is the stuff that's used actually to uh, you know, to disturb when you know the person needs shoes and stuff like this and you go and you push the shit like this you know can't even buy himself a you know 10 euro watch, whatever, I was without the watch father acknowledged me as mentally ill, sick because I was asking him about the watch if he won the watch and I was looking for the watch for myself because more than 10 watches were destroyed in, in Poland, 10, and I don't know how many here. Um, and so, that's, as I say, ill on watches, and uh, when you go and you just go and jig like this, uh, 220 euros on a watch, you don't even know how to operate, how to use one. That, that, that's all normal, you know, it's pretty much that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff. And public opinion, how I'm going to be toasted at the end, yeah.